the storm Eunice in the UK has just been massive and now moving across Europe as well. Yeah, I mean, before I do make light of it, a couple of lives have been lost and there's been extraordinary uh, property destruction. So we don't make light of it and people are encouraged to stay safe if they are listening in that point, part of the world. I mean, I, would get, I was getting messages from my brother. I've just lost a trampoline in the oh, garden. It uh, snapped in half. Wow. You know, and, and, and my father's um, table and chair set smashed to pieces mm. and fence panels flew off. It was pretty serious stuff. Mm. However, however, there was this extraordinary phenomenon happening yesterday in real life. This is a great story. There's this aviation enthusiast called Jerry Dyer, who until yesterday I had never heard of, mm. nobody had heard of him. Him and his wife, I presume it's his wife, Jilly, I see I know her name, they are, for years, they run this thing called Big Jet TV channel, okay. right? And they turn up every week, there's like a handful of them, half a dozen a airplane geeks, you know, plane, plane spotters. Plane spotters yeah. And they shoot it live on YouTube. They just do a live stream and they get a few people watching in the US, Canada, you know, mm. real hardcore, dedicated well, yesterday, the footage that you're seeing, the footage that all Singaporeans have watched, came from Jerry's YouTube oh, feed. okay. Right? There was a period yesterday evening, Singapore time, where 300,000 people were watching his YouTube wow. channel live. And I started watching it, and it was captivating because... You can't not watch. <laughs> the planes are coming in every 60 seconds yeah. to Heathrow Airport, and he's commentary because he's a he's an airplane geek is so exciting oh she's a beauty she's queen of the sky queen, <laughs> of, queen of the sky <laughs> a380 a, and he's got this really strong i don't know why i made him australian but he's got this really strong essex accent and he says get her down girl get her down girl get her down girl and there are celebrities tweeting about him oh that's hilarious there are mps tweeting about him Liverpool Football Club tweeted about him. So in real time, his wife, who's like holding the camera, is monitoring their social media feed, yeah. which is exploding. Oh, my god! Australia, America, Canada, they're all following them. They're all asking him for interviews. Yeah. And he, he's saying everything live. It's an unfiltered feed, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't swear. It's family friendly. But in real time, you can hear him saying, no. I don't want to talk to the BBC. I don't want to talk to the BBC. <laughs> Sky can wait. CNN can wait. I'm doing this. My planes are coming. Get her down, girl. Get her down. <laughs> Queen Bosch. of the sky. Get her down, Bosch. <laughs> Bish, bash, Bosch. He was saying, all these things are coming. I, I said, Tracy, you, my wife, uh, you've got to come in here. And she said, I'm just looking at planes. But then when you get the wobbly wings, yeah. easy girl, easy girl, get her down, get her down. And even better, oh. honestly, you, it's Monty Python-esque. He's doing this where I presume is the closest proximity he's mm. allowed. Mm. So he has this fence. So he's doing it, Glenn, in an open field where the other enthusiasts must hang out, yeah. where there are wild ponies, right? I don't know why either. <laughs> and every now and then, I'm not making this up. Go look at it. Uh, Big Jet TV, folks. Yeah. He'll go, she's coming in. She's a beauty. A380 from Qatar. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. The horse has just peed on my car. <laughs> Hang on a minute. And then the camera will cut down to this horse. To the pony. To this, po this pony himself. peeing on his car. Oh, look at the backside on that pony. And then he would come back to <laughs> Here we go. Oh, this one's an absolute beauty. Bosh, get her down, girl. Get her down, girl. See, this is where they, you Brilliant. know, this is where people are, are both um, enthusiastic and shuddering at the, the notion of citizen journalists. Yeah. <laughs> right? Because I, I, already, I'm not making this up. There is, I mean, you did a fascinating talk and go online, and listen to it, folks. You did it with the folks at uh, New Straits Times. New Straits Times, yeah. In, in Malaysia last week. Yeah. Just about this. The, mm the competition of, say, mainstream journalism yeah. versus citizen journalism. And there's an interesting point. There are already think pieces written in the last 12 hours about this big jet TV phenomenon because there were companies calling him in real time saying, can we use your footage? And he's like, yeah, sure, whatever. But then he's not thinking this through. Mm. People are saying to him, you know this is now on Reuters or, because if you say yes to a news agency, they can freely give it to sure. anybody yeah. for free. I yeah. mean... And it's your footage. You own this, right? 
and he and, and so there's conversations about that there's conversations about the fact that he, there was a period there where this big jet tv channel had more live viewers than all of the mainstream uk news channels wow. combined right right so this is you can't underestimate the power of this thing sure okay it's 15 minutes it's a confluence of events you know it's a major storm in the right place right time you know, normally you know. he probably has a hundred a couple of hundred viewers or yeah. whatever it is but still it, it, it triggered this whole conversation mm. mainstream journalism versus citizen journalism and where the, the to say the lines the boundaries merged yesterday was an understatement i mean so many stories there was one point some really famous celebrities were tweeting him mm. and you can hear his wife saying uh joe bloggs i can't remember the name joe bloggs has just tweeted you that's great who's joe bloggs <laughs> and he's, he, all these celebrities he doesn't know you know his whole world is aviation and wings and engines and he all these tail jump, tail numbers right oh the headwind has gone blah 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 oh my friend, it was extraordinary. Hilarious, TV. hilarious. Extraordinary. Well, those pictures, and you can see them all over BBC and everywhere else uh, on the on the internet of, of some of those planes landing and some of them doing missed missed landings, taking off again. Uh, there was this one uh, church in Somerset where the steeple fell off, and somebody happened to get a picture of the steeple actually crashing off the top of the church. I tweeted that. Oh, did you? I tweeted that because <laughs> talk about truth being stranger than fiction. Have you seen the movie? I'm sure you have. Very popular in Singapore. Hot Fuzz. Yes. The Fantastic movie. Right? The church steeple collapses. Yep. It was in the same village oh, as right? the actual steeple that went down yesterday. Is that right? Wells, oh. Somerset, yeah, which yeah. is Edgar Wright, the director's hometown. Even I thought it was the same church. So the director himself yeah. of Hot Fuzz, Shaun of the Dead, yep. Baby Driver, this now famous Hollywood director had to say, it was my village. It is the same village from Hot Fuzz, but it's the next church down. It is literally walking distance oh. from the actual church in the movie Hot Fuzz, where the steeple did collapse. <laughs> Truth, stranger than fiction. That is crazy. All right. On Facebook.